Hello, and welcome to Check It Out Comrade, an indie game podcast where every two weeks we bring you two indie games and tell you what we like about them. I'm Nick Lobber. And I'm Gary Butterfield. And this week we're doing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, the expansion yeah. to Rebirth. We don't bring you two games. No, and we, we haven't been doing that very much lately, but yes. that's just because we have a lot of content in these games, so, uh, so yeah. we have to talk about them for a while. Yeah, it wasn't like we weren't going to do an Afterbirth episode. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anybody who's listened to us any other previous episode knows we are huge Isaac fans. It's been a mainstay since the first one came out. And uh, and this is this is more content, more Isaac, and uh, exactly what we always want forever and always. I think this might be it. I don't, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they said they're already planning another one, including mod support. So Really? Yeah. Whoa. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is not it. Oh, well, dang, I, I didn't hear about that. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah, the uh, mod support is definitely something they want to pursue in the future. I'm pretty sure there's going to be at least one more expansion with more items and stuff. And they're not even done patching this one. They're still doing some rebalance patches and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been kind of a, a work in progress. Yeah. Um, so this is the expansion to Rebirth. Correct. Um, which was the remake of regular Isaac. Right. Remake, uh, remaster, whatever you want to call it. Which um, uh, already had one expansion itself, Wrath of the Lamb. Yes. Rebirth contained everything from the original plus kind of a mini expansion itself. Mm -hmm. And then it was an expansion of itself. Yeah. And this uh, and this expands upon that even further. Yeah. So it was released uh, October 30th of this year. And uh, let me just walk through real quick kind of the line items of new stuff. And then uh, we can talk a little bit about um, some of the, the newer stuff that isn't too spoilery. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll cut to a spoiler section and talk about uh, the ARG that went down. Oh, yeah. And uh, go in depth into some of our favorite items and such. So, yeah. All right. So what it has, um, it has a whole new game mode called Green Mode, uh, which plays significantly differently from um, the normal game. Yeah. And we can we can camp out on Green Mode for a minute because that's not really a spoiler. Sure. Like, uh, yeah, they talked to they, you know, there were blog posts. If you don't follow uh, Edmund on Tumblr, he kind of talks about this stuff and you know, I did on the way up to this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, green mode is kind of hard to explain, but it ended up being kind of more important yeah. um, to the game than, than I thought it was going to. Um, it is like, uh, it's kind of like a regular, like if there's boss rush in the regular game, mm -hmm. it's kind of just like room rush. Yeah. Like it's, it's super. So the way it works is you have uh, these sets of waves, like two bosses and 10 and groups of enemies. And then an optional one that gives you a deal with the devil and you press a button to activate them. Mm -hmm. And then you have access to two item rooms per floor and a shop with the, uh, the new item that rotates out items. So when you buy an item, it gets replaced immediately. Correct. And uh, the shop doesn't use the shop pool. It uses the item and boss room pool. Correct. So uh, what it ends up being in practice, I really like really love it. Like what it ends up being is like super customizable Isaac. Yeah. So you just have a lot of options at any given opportunity on how to make your character. Um, it becomes about this economics rather than chance because uh, you have to choose, you know, what to spend your money on. And you're going to have a shop on the next floor that has a bunch of stuff. Um, they add these reroll machines, which are in the main game as well, but they're much more frequent here. Mm -hmm. um, so it just ends up being this super customizable Isaac. And kind of your goal is to uh, to go through these different sets of rooms, um, get yourself powerful enough to beat the boss, which we'll talk about in spoiler section, um, and still donate money to this, uh, this new uh, uh, donation machine that has these new mechanics around it. Right, and it also ends up being sort of a, a streamlined Isaac too. Whereas a you know your average run to completion um, of the regular game mode is probably going to spend maybe forty five fifty minutes on. Um, this is this is much closer to twenty to twenty five minutes um, mm -hmm. from start to finish, which is which is awesome. It's it's a, a quicker pickup, and you still get the same feeling of you know uh, starting from starting from nothing and getting you know the right item set to to make yourself into something crazy. Yeah, even even more so, just since you have so much control over it. Yeah, you can you can really go uh, berserk on a, on a lot of stuff, um, especially since uh, one of the new items, which we'll talk about later, kind of shows up pretty commonly, which um, helps to to spice things up a bit. Yeah, it's 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 real fun. I'm I'm enjoying it. I, I think the maybe the one downside to it, um, in my opinion, is that the uh, because you're you're always you're always going towards the same last boss, which I know is same true of uh of the regular game mode too but uh it feels real static in um kind of how the game's going to play out there's no different routes to choose from you have mm -hmm. you know you, you have two different challenges in regular game optional challenges based on your your time and uh and you have two routes of completion that have two totally different bosses on them 
Um, you do get random bosses that fit the floor theme as you're going throughout, but the last boss is always going to be the same and there's no kind of alternate routes, nothing nothing to, to mix up one run from the other in terms of uh, where you're actually headed. Yeah, it, it, I think it kind of balances that by making the last boss really good. Yeah, I, I do like, enjoy that last yeah, boss. Yeah, I, th- I, I think it's my favorite like final boss in the game. Yeah, um, and it does a really good job of not uh, relying on the classic because we, you know, when they did, uh, it, it's just it's not a bullet hell boss. Correct. You know, like the idea behind this boss is not bullet hell. It feels much more like um, akin to a boss that would be in another kind of like NES or 16 bit game. Yeah, you know, totally. it's like more pattern recognition and dodging and stuff. Right. And he's he's just a tank. So it's just like yeah. a, a lot of health to get down. So you better have made yourself, you know, able to deal some significant damage. Um, mm-hmm. throughout the rest of the run or you know you're, you're gonna lose to the last boss because he's he's gonna soak a lot of that damage up similar to like getting into a uh, condition to fight mega satan or something like that Yeah, I- exactly yeah mega yeah. satan is an, is the other kind of super tank um and you're always M- mega satan is a completely optional boss in the regular run this is going to be your last boss regardless yeah. of, of how the route goes yeah they, they um and that would be a thing if they are doing another expansion doing alternate greed mode stuff yeah would be like a cool thing to do yeah, I don't. I don't think it needs to get too crazy. I like how streamlined it is, but mm-hmm. uh, it just it it can feel a little samey if you're doing a bunch in a row, which is fine because you can go mix it up with some normal runs and uh, and totally sort that out. But uh, if you're if you're really focusing greed mode to to get some donations in, you're like, well, shit, I've I've had to fight this last boss, you know, a hundred times now. Totally. <laughs> so yeah, I, I want a new mode for every one of the seven deadly sins. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do uh, it. imagine like a mode around each one. That'd be awesome. Get on it. <laughs> um, what else? What else is new? <laughs> All right, so um, we have expanded main game. Um, they they claimed a new final uh area, new final boss. I I think it's more of a, a new challenge boss that is mm-hmm. you know optional per route. Um, there's now daily runs, mm-hmm. um, which uh has leaderboard set up, so everybody always gets the same seed, and uh, and you're just fighting to get the greatest score. Um, by a, a, a huge metric of uh, of scoring methods. Uh, mm-hmm. based on your time spent, your damage taken, items picked up, and how far you got into the game, you know, which bosses you completed and whatnot. Yeah, um, I, have, you, have, you, uh, have you spent very much time on the dailies? I, I did when it first came out. I've, I've played a handful of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't, you know, I, I enjoy it, but it's not really my focus in Isaac. So uh, I, I've been really enjoying watching Northern Lion play them. Yeah, it's, it's, fun to, it's fun to watch. It's something I could see, like, just kind of always being there. Yeah. You know, like if I decide, uh, you know, I need something to spice up Isaac or I just want to play a little bit, you know, each day, it's a cool excuse for it. We yeah. also are supposed to have themed ones, like the ones around holidays are supposed to be specific. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't tried the one today. You know, we're recording this on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, so I should see check out the one today and see if it's uh, somehow Thanksgiving themed. Yeah, I, I'd enjoy that too. The, the first like week, we're all kind of custom picked, um, mm-hmm. either to be specifically challenging or specifically... Or show off new characters. Yeah, show like, off was, new yeah. characters, show off uh, interesting new... Um, new combos item combos and stuff so mm-hmm. uh that was a real fun week since then it's just been random seeds which still end up being pretty cool most of the time mm-hmm. yeah um so those new uh those new items we mentioned but the new combos are a really big thing oh yeah so in the last one there were a lot of uh synergies that would be really cool but they just overwrote one another so you would uh you know oh i have monsters lung and i have brimstone like that'd be cool if that worked together right and now i mean it's not quite everything but it's very nearly everything does work together yeah um which is great yeah, they spend a lot of time on the synergies, and that's that's awesome. Like that, that's one of the greatest parts about Isaac is is getting the right combination of items to do something really neat and interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the fact that they focus so much on that was uh, a huge plus. It's to my mind, it's like it's the best thing about Isaac. Yeah. So like, is this idea that um, you know, a lot of games have said like every game is different uh, before, but they don't mess with your your verb set as much. Like we covered uh, Nuclear Throne, which is a good game, but um, I didn't feel that different getting one gun versus another. Right you know, in that game or, uh, you know, the stat upgrades that you get didn't feel that different. And it's like super cool game, but you know, your, your Isaac at the end of an Isaac run is going to be so different from any other run. Mm-hmm. And like, that's the, that's the appeal is that is literally your verb set changes with, right. with every run through. And they've just doubled down on that so hard, not just with the item, new items, which a lot of which are not, you know, kind of generic stat upgrades. Like there are some of those, they're just like, Oh, this is this stat. Right. But so many of them control how you play in really kind of impressive ways um yeah, yeah there's uh, there's some yeah. really really good ones now yeah absolutely uh, yeah th- this this expansion <laughs> added a bunch and and yeah it, there was definitely something missing in the last game like if you got mom's knife and you're gonna want to pick up mom's knife it's a really good item mm-hmm. um you're gonna th- that run is gonna be very similar to almost every other mom's knife run you got like the your attack method and and damage output are very similar um from one mom's knife run to the other 
prior to Afterbirth where they made Mom's Knife synergize with a bunch more items uh, mm-hmm. in a way that makes it uh, much more unique from any other run where you got Mom's Knife. Yeah. Yeah. So super. that's super cool. Yeah. Um, new trinkets. Yes. Which, uh, you know, which are, are all pretty interesting. I still don't. The community doesn't even know what all of them do. Correct. At this point, which is super cool. Yeah. Um, new uh, new pills. Mm-hmm. Um, new runes. New cards. Things like that. Some of which are just really obvious. Like, I don't know why that wasn't, you know, wasn't there. Right. Like things like um, the one that uh, gives you like a, a single reroll. Like some of the stuff that came through in the community mod. Right. Um, are here. Um, so there's a, there's one that is a, a single reroll, which was before a rune, but now there's another item. Um, a golden bomb, which gives you unlimited bombs on the floor. Mm-hmm. Just kind of things that seem really obvious in retrospect. Yeah. Um, but uh, again, just spice things up a little bit. Um, there's also 10 new challenges. Um, oh, which yeah. Which, are, which seven of which are bullshit. Like, oh, yeah. They, they are definitely uh, fitting of the name challenge. Whereas, you know, some of the early ones uh, in, in Rebirth were just kind of cool synergies to start with. And in, in lieu of getting... Of, getting this cool starting set you don't get item rooms which mm-hmm. is a you know a fun way to play a lot of the time um these uh some of them are definitely complete and utter bullshit but others of them are just real hard ways to play um mm-hmm. ways that you wouldn't want you know you probably wouldn't set yourself up for on purpose uh playing the main game and they're they're kind of a bummer in that like not very many of them unlock new items or anything anymore um a lot of them just give you more pills and when they say new more pills it doesn't mean you can discover a new type of pill. It means it adds to the total number of pills you can get in your rotation. So if you do all of the challenge runs, instead of having, I think right now it's six, you get six pills that you can have during a run. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if you do all of them, you can have 12. Oh, interesting. So, which is kind of cool, um, you know, but depending on what that rotation is, like you get those real kind of dream things where it's like, oh, it's like tears up health up, you know, balls of steel, like right. in my pill rotation. And now that might be, you know, one quarter of your pills rather than one half. Right. And that's kind of, uh, you know, that can make things more challenging, but it kind of feels like an unsatisfying reward. Like the challenges kind of bum me out, um, you know, but those are something that's on the rebalance list as well. Um, yeah. You know, he's listened to people saying that they sound, you know, that or that they're not fun to play or unfair because a bunch of them are, you know, not very fun to play. I would yeah. say. I, I thought some of the new pills might be gated behind that stuff, but I, you know, I haven't read too much into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's see. There's uh, a whole bunch of new room layouts. Um, yeah. Along with uh, alternate um palettes for uh all of the all of the the main floors that have a, a different theme to them mm-hmm. um yeah, that changed things quite a bit yeah and right. uh there is there's a new character lilith that mm-hmm. uh you can uh you know she's been she's been spoiled right off the bat so um she's a new character who can be pretty easily unlocked uh you just have to beat greed mode with the easiest character to beat greed mode with Mm-hmm. Um and she plays really cool. In fact, let's let's go ahead and talk about her a little bit because I don't think that's too uh too spoilery. Um she's really unique. She starts with uh a familiar, the mm-hmm. incubus. Who is who, a great item. Yeah, it is a really great item, and you can unlock incubus to be in your regular pools. But what incubus does is shoots shoots the same tiers you do. And Lilith starts with Incubus, but also starts with the blindfold that is uh typical to a lot of challenges, wherein your character doesn't shoot tiers at all. So in Lilith's case, um, she can only shoot via Incubus. Uh, mm-hmm. She also starts with a new item called Box of Friends, which is a, a four-room charge item that uh, duplicates the number of familiars you have, which means you can very easily um, enter your first boss room and have double the amount of damage right off the bat mm-hmm. because Incubus is shooting your tiers and you now have two of them. And it does, So it doesn't double your familiars, it just adds one of each type because uh in new right. boss rushes and green right. mode you can you can use this item multiple times or with yeah. batteries um she also starts with something called a uh, cambian conception right which is when you get hit you have a chance of spawning a familiar and the familiar stays permanently it's not just for the room or some bullshit like that yeah um so she's potentially like really powerful yeah the cambian conceptions familiars also have a, a small pool typically of a uh, devil room uh, yeah they're familiars. Either evil familiars yeah, yeah. um so yeah, she she plays really interestingly. Uh, she's amazing on greed mode. Um, yeah. Because in greed mode, you get a a recharge every wave, and there's eight waves of enemies, two waves of bosses, and then Satan. So if you never leave the room, you can get like uh four time four times the amount of familiars just throwing tears everywhere, and it's it's uh it's it's real fun. It's one of those things where uh, when they switch us to rebirth, um, you know, from the flash version. Um, this is something they could never, you'd never be able to do in Vanilla Isaac. Oh yeah. Like have this many things on the screen. And there are so many things that just break the game in these fun ways that like, you know, it it doesn't, it doesn't actually break the game, but it it seems like it would. 
yeah like physically make the game crash and it doesn't <laughs> right um yeah she's she's really cool and she changes the way you play quite a bit um you know the trade-off you have for this power is that you have this your tears actually lag behind you mm-hmm. um, and a bunch of synergies don't work with you know with her because she can't shoot right so a bunch of them do like her familiar gets the same properties but not all the same properties right um yeah she's really cool um she's a really interesting addition yeah i'm i'm, I'm a big fan of, of Lilith. um Let's see if uh, let me see if there's anything else that I'm missing here. There's, uh, you know, some some new music, some new room types, updated HUD that includes the ability to um, list your pickups on the side uh, transparently, mm-hmm. which is something that was uh, a, a mod that you could get previously that mm-hmm. people uh, streamers especially were using a lot to you know show off what items they picked up during the run. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some new transformations, which is awesome because there, there was only new transformations. Yeah, there was only was like two seven previously. Yeah. Um and now there's more and that's that's great. Each each transformation gives you some new uh benefit uh mm-hmm. by a, picking up a combination of items that fit a certain theme. Mm-hmm. And and so they they vary whether they're just like very really powerful or if they're just super fun. Yeah. Um but they're they're almost always worth like pursuing. Absolutely. If you're uh, close to them. Espe- yeah, especially if you're one item away. Like if you've gotten like two mushroom items and you need the next couple to get you up then yeah you'll pick up like something you know that's not great like you'll pick up tiny mush right or mini mush you know when you were ordinarily wouldn't so it adds these new strategic dim- dimensions mm-hmm. the only other real thing there uh some new co-op babies some new achievements some new, new bosses, bosses and new, new enemies monsters, yeah. yep there yep. you go um so before we get into spoiler section what uh what do you think uh i'm i'm a fan like i i was I plaid godded uh, rebirth. I never unlocked the lost. Um, I just didn't want to deal with that bullshit. I understood he existed there, but it was it was more of a challenge than I was willing to face. Um, but I unlocked all the content that I could, and was still coming back to it every now and then when I wanted something quick to quick and easy to pick up that I'm super familiar with. And uh, and now this gives me even more reason to play, and I've been enjoying enjoying myself so far. Mm-hmm. I. I I, you know, there, there's, there's some items that, uh, change the game in ways that I, I'm going to ignore them, but that's, that was there in the base game too. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't like certain the proportions games. are about the same. Yeah. Exactly. Like items that ruin your run. Precisely. They are about the same. So, yeah, I mean, in my, in my opinion, there's nothing, there's no downfall to adding a whole bunch of this new content. There was nothing that took away from this game. It only added to it. And that's, you know, all I could ever want from Isaac basically is more there's and more, more shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does a really good job for that. And like just having, you know, once you I th- I can see the argument. And I've heard people say that it's more intimidating if you go right, if you're just getting into it. Right. Like if you just buy it and you get the version with Afterbirth, like, oh, here is, you know, I don't know, 400 items <laughs> right. to figure out what they do. And that could be really intimidating. But if you've been following the series for as long as we have, like, it's really refreshing to have this new like new toys in the box. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's that's really cool. And just seeing, you know just playing you know like playing through like a, a run with like somebody who doesn't have a re-roll so you can just kind of like oh i'm just gonna see how this works yeah um and that's been super fun um and has added a lot of new life to the game which is like you know a game i pick up uh just when i'm looking for something quick too given that i've like put so many hours into it right um you know so it's not something that like feels super fresh even with the new stuff um just because i'm i'm so familiar but right. uh it is uh this has added a lot of new life to it so absolutely so I mean I, that's pretty much all I think we we want to say before uh, before getting into spoilery stuff just because we want to discuss openly and freely a lot of the the new shit in it without spoiling mm-hmm. anything for you guys who a lot of the fun of the game for me is picking up a new item I don't know what the hell it does and then finding out via playing yeah maybe my second time around I might be like oh I've seen that already what does that do again and look it up but the first time through I always love just experiencing a new item. Mm -hmm. um i don't want to ruin that for you guys so yeah so if you uh if you're gonna play the game if you're still in that honeymoon period um you know stop listening if uh if you want to uh hear us talk about some of the items and bosses and specific things that uh we're way into keep listening yeah um so some admin stuff real quick as always uh we're on twitter at comrade podcast on facebook uh check it out com check it out comrade facebook.com slash check it out comrade we have a patreon always ongoing uh that helps keep the show running Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, likes and reviews on iTunes also bring us to some new audience. So um, any of that, uh, come hang out with us. We love you guys. Duckstream was a huge success. Thanks to anyone who came and uh, and hung out with us there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, and yeah, stop here. If you uh, don't want to hear any of this spoilery shit. All right. And uh, if not, keep listening. Before we go into the, the ARG... Um, let's do some favorite item stuff first because the ARG is more of like a narrative and we should spell that out because one of the things that's like about that's true about the ARG 
is that I'm really uh, proud of Edmund to have finally done the thing he wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what he wanted with the lost. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like is, is he wanted this thing to happen. I'm really proud of him, but let's, uh, before we get into that, let's talk about new bosses and items and stuff. Sure. Absolutely. So, um, Let's see. I'm, I'm looking at some stuff right now on uh, platinumgod.co.uk, which is mm-hmm. the greatest lookup resource mm-hmm. for this game ever. TechX, I, I was just talking to you about this over dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, that item is a really cool new technology variant uh, that allows you to shoot these uh, big circular lasers that uh, you charge them up and the size is based on how long you charge. It's the same thing if you got Ludo with technology before. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. except instead of moving it around the screen, you fire it in one direction mm-hmm. and uh, and your size is based on your charge time. Um, it's It synergizes with a bunch of cool shit. Uh, I, I really like it a lot. It's one of my favorite uh, like overall tier changing items that I've seen so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's super. It's super good. I like that item quite I, a bit. You throw me one. Um, I think uh, so I'll do a, a good item before I'll do an interesting one. OK, um, I have had like amazing luck with the tractor beam. Oh yeah, that's that such thing a is good great. Item. Um, it's really hard item. to explain what it does. Like it, it keeps your uh, tiers parallel to you. Yeah, so they, so they don't have any diagonal momentum with your movement. If you're moving side to side, uh, they continue to kind of stick with this straight line that's coming out. Yeah, of they you. they move with you now. Um, yeah, and you can only shoot in the four cardinal directions, so you can still hit diagonally because you can fire and then move up to move them to someone else's you know, to hit somebody from a dead angle of them, essentially. Right. Um, but the the coolest thing about it is that if you have something that splits your tiers, it puts them in the same track. Yeah. So it makes uh, uh, Cricket's body or uh, the Parasite incredible. Yeah. Or triple shot or quad shot or anything like that, because all four of the tiers will hit every shot. Yeah. Quad shot plus tractor beam is basically like a, a free cursed eye. Yeah, yeah, like a free curse. Yeah, except everyone will hit. It doesn't like it not doesn't knock the enemy back as much because it's a little bit wider. Right. Like curse, the problem with cursed eye is that like it's a cool idea, but you'll never hit with all four shots. That's true. Like you you take the drawback and you end up hitting with the first one. Like this actually works. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's so good. Like I haven't I haven't lost with it yet. Like it's like the it's the weird sleeper item for me. Yeah, I, I'm definitely it's a must pick up for me if I if I spot it anywhere. Yeah, super super good. So interesting, and I, I haven't gotten the greatest usage out of this yet, but I can see that it's going to be amazing. Uh, Duploplia oh, sure. um, is really cool. What that item does is it actually duplicates any item uh, pedestals that you have so that you actually get two of the same item. Um, some of which, you know, is if you get a, a halo or something, you're going to get double a great all stats up. And that's uh, that's awesome. That's huge. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, there's also some other items that getting two of could give you some really interesting results. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't managed to hit anything super, super cool yet, but I'm really intrigued by the possibilities of that item. Um, and I've managed to get some slight, you know, really good buffs for myself out of it. I just, I, I'm, I'm waiting to see the, the items that really just are amazing by having two of them. Most, most of the things that work with it, uh, stack in the positive sense and the negative things don't stack. Oh, that's awesome. So if you get, um, two triple shot, you get six shots, but your rate of fire is only the regular triple shot. That's amazing. Yeah, it's super good. Um, I got it with a lump of coal, and with lump of coal, like it doubles the rate that your your tears increase in damage. Awesome. Um, so they get you know get bigger, quicker, and and get bigger overall and everything. Like it's really really cool. Um, I don't run into it very often because it's a shop item. Yeah, it's a shop item. Yeah, so it's like it's kind of hard to hard to run into, but it's really cool. Um, yeah. And there's just so many things you can do with it. Um, the other thing, the obvious thing is, if you use it in a shop, every the, the duplicate is free. So or if you use it in a deal with the devil. Yeah, you get one of every item from either of those things without having to pay for them. Mm-hmm. And um, if you and want, then... you can pay for it and get two. Exactly. Um, if you get two Steam sales, everything is free. That's all. That's yeah. a great new synergy. Yeah, that's <laughs> super cool. You could get you could get two before because it's such a common greed drop mm-hmm. um, that you would get a second one. And it wouldn't do anything for you, uh, but now two of them just makes everything free. So now all shops are are free items. For yeah, you. yeah, super super cool. Um, I'm way into the um, the portal gun. You know, like the ventricle razor. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. It allows you to make portals. So you can, it's an unlimited use space bar item that makes, you know, portal portals essentially between rooms. Mm-hmm. So you can use this to get out of boss rush. You can use it to, uh, you know, get out of curse rooms. You can use it just to save time. Mm-hmm. Like I'll put it in, you know, I'll get to the boss, put down a, a ventricle razor and then go check out the rest of the floor and then teleport back. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Which is really cool. Um, but mostly to get out of boss rushes and, and get out of, uh, of rooms I don't want to be in. 
It's but, also apparently a great, like, uh, basically insta win item for the lost. If you unlock the the new thing that lets him start with um, that item. That oh yeah, let, lets him start with a uh, uh, holy mantle. Yeah. So if you if you have holy mantle lost unlocked, then uh, when you take that first hit, just ventricle out of the room you're in, and then go back in again and see if you can do it without taking a hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 really creative. I never would have thought to put a portal gun in Isaac. Yeah, me. But either. it's surprising it's, it's how it good. works. Um, what what uh what ruins your runs? What are the new uh the new shit items for you? Curse of the tower can be really bad. That's bad. Yeah, uh, that's a good item to ignore if you don't have uh anything that helps you out with that. Mm-hmm. Um, although if you have the trinket, the safety scissors trinket, it's a room full of free bombs. Yeah, so that's when, cool all the time. Like constant, yeah. like constant free bombs. Uh, and if I didn't explain it, but that, that item makes it so that every time you get hit, it's basically like using a tower card. Mm-hmm. So a whole bunch of, of live bombs show up in the room, which would be really cool if you had a pyromaniac or something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Uh, I picked it up on the, um, the challenge where you start with pyromaniac TNT, mm-hmm. uh, or not TNT, pyromaniac, pyromaniac, um, I don't know, the, the suicide bomb item. Mm-hmm. Um, kamikaze. Kamikaze. Thank you. Um, number two is a similar vein too. Yeah. Uh, where you're just dropping butt bombs, um, randomly as you're wait hold on as you fire continuously firing for three seconds will cause you to drop a butt bomb yeah uh so so yeah that that run can definitely screw you too if you didn't realize you dropped a butt bomb because you're just trying to dodge shit and uh run right into it yeah that, that one's rough um i think marked is bad yeah i'm not a big fan of marked it's really hard to control yeah it, it just it lets you steer like you aim with a crosshair like you do with uh dr fetus yeah with dr fetus but um you just fire in that direction or epic fetus epic sorry. fetus and it, it gives you some stat stat ups and stuff when you use yeah. it but it's not worth it to my it mind can be, yeah the it can actually give you some decent upgrades based on the items you have um like if you have uh, because it's just a constant rate of fire so um i forget what items i had but i i had i had some stuff where I, when i took that item it just made me like a constant stream of of uh of tears and that was really good in that vein but the fact that i had to aim it constantly is not easy to do um especially when you're accustomed to playing uh, it, the regular way it's such a new style of aiming that yeah it, it just hard really to mess you yeah yeah and there's a bunch of other stuff too that just kind of does like miscellaneous effects like there aren't as many bad items in this as no. i feel like i mean the, the proportion is roughly the same and that there are some that screw you over i feel like almost like they screw you over worse than they did yeah but like i'm looking through the items now and like everything looks pretty good like i'm down for the stuff um so so many of them are just like really cool and unique shit yeah yeah like cre- like it's not even that useful like the mushroom you get that shrinks enemies yeah like the shrinking status effect is not actually that useful but it's cool yeah, like i'll take cool. it you know that's that's a neat thing to be able to do yeah, there's that crown item that makes you do more damage if you have full health. That's like, really cool. Uh, Zelda. That's yeah. neat. Um, Spider Mod is a really cool new yeah, item that puts yeah. health bars on everything. Yeah, and uh, and gives status effects to things it runs into, yeah. which is cool. Yeah, he's he's a little familiar who who will do stuff like freeze or I don't know if it's freeze, but he like fears enemies and stuff. So uh, it does more than that, but still, it's neat to to get that. That was something. It's named after the Spider Mod, which put health bars on all the all of the the enemies, and it's a nice nice thing to have. Which yeah, which is really useful. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then like trinket wise, there aren't as many things that kind of blow my mind. Um, and a bunch of them I don't actually understand or haven't gotten yet. Um, the one I've had the best luck with is the, uh, uh, the, uh, what is it? The black feather. Um, yeah. Black feather is cool. Which, yeah, it gives you, gives you damage up for every evil item you have. And mm-hmm. since I tend to play, if I'm playing to win, like I tend to play towards deals with the devil anyway. Right. Um, it ends up being a pretty decent damage up and like damage up trinkets are rare. Like the only thing we had before was the curved horn. So yeah and evil items are so great anyway because they so often show there's so often uh devil room items mm-hmm. and uh they give you black hearts so it's uh so often where you can take them for essentially free because you're trading a heart container for a black heart um whereas you might not be able to take any other deals because they would kill you mm-hmm. um if you have black feather and you're doing that because those items are real common devil room takes you're going to get some extra damage up on top mm-hmm. um one of the best new items um for kind of customizing your your play is uh or best new trinket sorry is no yeah no is um, great. which it just makes it so that uh no new spacebar items will spawn so if you already have a great spacebar item like you know book of isle d6 or, 
D6, yeah. So, which are both starting items for different characters. You just, you don't want any space, any other spacebar items. And no lets you pick and choose when they will or won't spawn. Yeah. Because you can drop a trinket at any time. Yep. And so, yeah, you're getting passives. You're actually giving yourself permanent upgrades instead of uh, these kind of, you know, temporary items you don't want to use. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that's really good. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, it's, you know, really impressive the way that it changes everything. Like, it feels like, um, like he's approaching this kind of, like it's it's hard to explain the amount of support that this game and this franchise has gotten and the the place it's taken in my life is very similar to when people who play kind of perpetual like MOBAs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like there are balance changes I look out for. Yeah. And and like these new item things or new characters are really big deals in a way that you don't see for single player games. Yeah, absolutely. You know? It's it's never something that happens with a game that doesn't require you to be competitive against other people, which is a thing especially you don't particularly like yeah a lot of other people don't like either it's cool it's cool to get that experience exactly yeah i'm i'm i love this game it's it's undeniable how good this game is yeah it's uh, it's it's really fun so um so let's talk about the arg a little bit Mm -hmm. um i'm not going to give a full rundown because i wasn't even there for every step and although i've read a couple kind of full walkthroughs that i i highly recommend you guys go seek out and look look for um that explain kind of every step of the arc but essentially what happened is uh, Tyrone and Ed were sending out kind of cryptic tweets and there was kind of some new stuff in the game too that um, all amounted to some some hidden messages essentially. And when it really started to pick up speed was after a certain point, uh, Edmund started saying stuff, I think this was uh, last Friday, um, started saying stuff about, or the Friday before, I don't remember. Um, he, he mentioned there being something to find uh on a pier uh in in the the town he lives in in california it was it was he had a lost boys poster that had like the the the, uh, like the pier was the pier from the movie he like posted a picture of himself and he had a lost boys poster in the background yeah it was like more even more esoteric i i think he did a couple more direct ones after that but uh but yeah essentially what it led up to was people going out there and finding these missing posters of isaac that contained uh, on them a phone number. Um, it was obscured. You had to kind of fill in the blanks. And one of the the last three digits were uh, 109, which is what the greed machine, uh, donation machine, stopped at because of a bug mm-hmm. <laughs> at the start. And, they, and people kept thinking it meant all these things. And so they kept playing it up. Um, so they added that in as the, the last three digits of the phone number. And when you called, you got Matthew Bossy, the, the guy who who's done all the voiceovers for Isaac. Um, basically giving a hidden message um, that mentioned uh, I am your father and that you have to ask me the right question, um, it, which eventually turned into another message and so on and so forth down the line. Eventually, what it led to was uh, a location, uh, a GPS coordinates, I believe, that uh, this happened at, on a Friday night at uh, like midnight, 1 a.m., uh, that people found out about the location. And um, people started going out there and there was a big hullabaloo in like IRC rooms and stuff of people following along. Tyrone at one point showed a, tweeted a picture of a guy standing at the location and said the first one arrives, <laughs> um, which means he, he or someone working for them was literally at the place, like hiding out in a car, waiting for people to show up for who knows how long. Um, which is amazing. Um, what they eventually found when they got enough people was that they needed to dig um, in a in a spot in you know real life location that some coins had been laid down on the ground. And when they dug it up, they got this little greed statue, which had uh, further tips on it that led to a Twitter account for which the password had to be guessed. And uh, there was a unpublished tweet that said uh, an image, just like when you unlock an Isaac, that says the community has unlocked something awesome. And when that tweet was eventually published, which was kind of after some uh, some goofball stuff where the first person to get into the account just tweeted a whole bunch of random bullshit, like, I got into the <laughs> account, and like was he made a mess of it. In any case, the tweet eventually got published because he didn't realize there was something in drafts. And uh, at that very moment, a new patch came out which unlocked uh, the keeper, a new uh, a new character that can be unlocked by uh, filling up the greed mode d- donation machine to nine nine nine. Yeah, it and, was amazing and blowing it, it up, so which, cool. is, which is super cool. Like that's like I said, that's what he wanted to do with the lost. Yeah, like he he was trying to find a way to hide things. And because people, you know, won't allow things to be hidden, you know, he had to actually patch it in 
afterwards, mm-hmm. but you know, it was up to him when to patch that stuff in, you know, like it, it was in, it wasn't in the game until everyone did the stuff. Right. And that's, because if it was in the game, someone would have dug it out. Totally. They would have figured it out. They would have gotten into the encrypted files and figured out what, what the new character was and the method by which to unlock them. Yeah. Um, by doing it all outside the game and requiring a patch to the game for the content to be unlocked, he it let him it let him it, uh, put on this like week long essentially game with uh, a, a smaller portion of of the Isaac playing community who were really involved, and just he obviously had a blast with it. Tyrone obviously did too, and the community went fucking bad. Yeah, it was like, real fun it to was, watch. It was it was amazing to yeah. watch. Super super cool. Um, that, that thing that you get to, to unlock him. So it's weird how much, um, like greed is so important to everything mm-hmm. in this. It's the new ending. It's the new mode and stuff. And that's what makes me want like other sin versions. I don't know if they could do one for every one of them, but that's what the, like the best new boss in the game is this ultra greed boss, um, who, who I really love. Um, is there any other, just like, I'm just thinking of things that we haven't uh, talked about any other new enemies or bosses that you want to camp out on for a little bit before we let this go? Uh, the, the pin variant is a f- asshole. Oh yeah. The frail. Yeah, the frail is a is a is a dick uh, who just like snaps brimstone lasers at you. He's super hard. Um, yeah, he is really hard. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. Um, the the new basement um, boss is the cutest goddamn thing in Isaac. Oh, uh, little horn. Little horn. I love he is horn. adorable. Yeah, little horn's he great. Is, he is the cutest design by far in in the game. Yep. Um, and the, I, I'm like I haven't learned everybody's names yet, but uh, the Dingle variant is also a piece of shit. Oh, literally. yeah, literally. Yeah, well, the um, new, yeah, the, the brownie or the, the yeah, brownie. like, yeah, brownie is really hard. Brownie is um, really, really like, hard. Like, it's, it's, like, not very tanky, but you will take damage. You'll, yeah, because every time you hit him, he's just throwing out more of these, like, basically little one-hit poops. Yeah. That, you know, they're, they're, they're very easy to kill, but he's throwing, <laughs> throwing them at you by, like, 10 every time yeah. you hit him. It's, the room just fills up with these guys. It's super, crazy. super quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, all the bosses, uh, essentially all the bosses are, are pretty pretty damn hard but not in an unfun way i don't think there's none of them are like um anything that i can't counter by one means or another but i'll encounter them at the wrong time just like bosses and you know prior to this that i won't have the right set for them and and they'll just fuck my shit up and that's okay i appreciate that i like the designs and uh i'm i'm appreciative of uh of new variants of of bosses yeah yeah there are there are posthumous variants and then other champion versions of everything yeah Um, i'm a little bit bummed out by the hush um i don't love hush as a fight like it's just it's the ultimate expression of bullet hell yeah that is the one thing we haven't kind of uh yeah. touched on um hush is the new um the new optional boss that i mentioned um you ha- you reach him by by getting to uh mom's heart it lives defeating it in under 30 minutes similar to how boss rush was uh defeating mom in under 20 and uh it unlocks a new floor and i i like the new fl- i like the the route by which you get to them it, it's cool that there's kind of a guaranteed shop there that you can go donate mm-hmm. uh the rest of your coins at which makes the donation machine easier to fill up mm-hmm. than it used to be uh they'll never be agreed in there and that's that's awesome and there's also two item uh two item rooms that both have um more options style a pick between two items mm-hmm. and four golden chests which might also contain item and then you fight the hush and yeah he is he is a huge damage sponge and ridiculous bullet hell. Yeah. Um, which it is, you know, he is definitely the ultimate expression of bullet hell, and that's not what most of this game is. There's some bullet hell stuff, but this is by far the most bullet hell this game has had. But I also feel like there's a lot of items at this point that are really defensive against bullet hell stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, that I know when my build is going to be something that can do well against the hush, uh, you know, after the first time I fight him, I was like, okay, I know what I need in order to make this fight a lot easier now. Um, which, which is fine for for me. That's that's a perfectly valid option for how a optional boss can play. Yeah, that that's the thing. He's not part of the critical path, so right. Uh, you do need to fight him with everyone in order to unlock the full suite of items. You do get a new item for defeating Hush with every Hush with every character. But um, but yeah, he's he's optional in your route. You, but you you have to get to mom's heart in under thirty minutes, which is not a huge feat, but it does mean you have to have some significant power. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck on previous floors, not being able to make time. Yeah. And you, after the first time you fight him, you know he's bullet heli. You know you're going to want to go in there with some, you know, full suite of flies or uh, guardian shield or uh, infamy or any of these right, items right, that right, are, like are really good at blocking lost against contact bullets. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the only thing with him that I, I don't mind that he is um 
like the the defensive part of him as much as I I wish he wasn't quite as tanky. Yeah, like he just takes a long time. And and then he goes underground and just doesn't do anything yeah, for a hangs while. Out. And that uh, he's not perfect. I'm sh- I'm willing to bet that he's going to get some tweaks as to how he plays. I think so too. Um, yeah, I, I don't think he's completely finalized yet. But um, I I mean I I think I've just about beat him with everybody already. Like he's 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 not bad. He's fine. I I like that there's a optional new floor to go to when you're when you're having a good run and you want to yeah you can you know, make it a little bit better it's not quite chest level but you can yeah. get you know get some extra stuff yeah I, I dig it too um i just i like ultra greed a lot and i wish i liked him a little bit more so i to- totally understand yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's not perfect but uh but i i am i enjoy that he's there yeah he's 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 a good good pup he's a good boy good i'm also boy. interested in the he's, he's a good he's a good sweet boy he's he's a nice pupper um i'm also interested in what um thematic service he he serves like he uh the level he's on is called the blue womb um yeah and then... i was trying to like i haven't figured out any lore stuff there's like an ending where isaac turns into a keeper mm-hmm. um but there's not uh i don't know like is this like some kind of drowning or water birth thing um i don't actually know so yeah or it, also it could be some f- like the way that he pops out from the floor mm-hmm. makes me think that he is representative of some like reabsorption of like a like a vanishing twin thing yeah yeah, yeah. an in vitro twin who got reabsorbed um something like that you know the, this game plays with a lot of really <laughs> really gross themes so i wouldn't be that would i wouldn't put that beyond him um but yeah i'm interested to see if there's more to that at any point yeah for sure like i i'm i'm curious about it i wonder if some of that stuff will come when i start beating things with greed or with the keeper with the new character yeah which uh which you know that's that's probably i'm probably not gonna get everything in this because i can't don't know if i can stand the idea of doing the lost like doing things again with the lost especially right. um there's now an item for uh defeating mega satan with every character yes and it's like i don't know if i want to defeat mega satan with the lost um but he also has been buffed significantly. that's true like the lost is is slightly less bullshit now yeah which is super cool but like i i, I probably will unlock the keeper because he seems like he plays really differently like he uses coins as health right um and stuff but uh other than that like so this might not be i may not 100 percent it it's still like gonna be my fallback game though for a good long time right um, i i feel like i probably will at some point 100 percent the game but it's gonna be um it's gonna be a slow back burner game that i come back to and do a run here and there yeah as, I, i'm not gonna sit down with this game for the next couple of weeks and try and bump you know pump out every post-it note phil no and, i have no sense of urgency unlock- about it yeah, so I, I I want the content to be stretched as long as possible. Yeah, for sure. I mean, at least until they announce the new thing, right? And then uh, and then uh, you know start that hype train rolling again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I think that I mean that's Afterbirth. Um, like you already know if you like uh, Rebirth, right? Um, but if you do like if you're on the fence about getting this, if you like Afterbirth, I think or Rebirth, I think you should get it. And now you know what we think about it. Yeah, I don't. If you're considering buying it and haven't, if you like Rebirth, but maybe you're not playing it a ton and, and can't decide if you want to get this yet or not. Um, I think it's definitely a up in difficulty. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. So I think that until you, you're you feeling proficient with Isaac and feel like you're you're aching for more content, like you kind of flushed out all that there is to do with Rebirth, that's the point where Afterbirth is perfect. Yeah. Um, before that, you, I, I think it's totally understandable to say that Afterbirth might be up the challenge a little bit too much for you or just expand the item pool to be way too confusing for you that's perfect that perfectly valid get all the content you can you can out of rebirth before jumping into this it's definitely an expansion made for people who have played a lot of isaac and 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 the dollar per you know entertainment ratio which is kind of bullshit but it's like it's a lot of content oh it's fucking huge yeah it, the you can't get more hours of game out, uh, yeah. out of anything than like it, it's, isaac, it's well so. worth the money like he's you know there's no no shilling going on here so exactly yeah uh yeah edmund edmund doesn't pay us anything <laughs> yeah totally. we just love we just love his game to death so yeah. um yeah i think that's it guys um we will we'll see you next time we gotta we're gonna do an actual two game episode um before we finish out the season mm-hmm. um which we're gonna do before the end of, you know right before the end of the year and then uh and then after those two episodes we'll take a little break come back with with something new in indie yeah uh, we'll be back uh 2016 with uh, some fresh new shit. Indeed. So, um, thanks for listening, guys, and we'll see you next time. Have a good night.